And it's kind of a tale of two cities, isn't it, Annalise? It's nice and sunny here in, the, in this side of the world in Fort Worth. But in Dallas, you guys still have cloud cover? We sure do, yeah. Every now and then I'll see the sun come out, but it, it's not much. So I'm waiting on a, a brighter view as I look out the window. It's been a pretty great morning here and really through much of North Texas, but that's changing as we roll on into the afternoon. This is all thanks to the moisture from the south, Gulf moisture that has streamed in. Of course, you know, we've had breezy conditions the past couple of days, and that breeze kind of helping to usher in the moisture. You see it really here. This is the time lapse this morning. We had a little bit of a sunrise, actually, and then very quickly that got overtaken by the gray sky. And at 1115 right now, or 1118 rather, we are still seeing clouds there in Dallas. Dew points have risen early this week. We were seeing 30s. That was a really dry air. Different story now, even low 60s down around Hillsborough. A little bit muggy, actually. That's kind of more what you would see in the summertime. But we will keep this going through the next couple of days as the south wind is going to stay breezy. Looking at our gusts right now of up to 25, 28 miles per hour from Denton and Bridgeport. Comanche, 28 mile per hour wind gust as well. So even with the clouds, we are able to warm up with that kind of a wind and certainly with more afternoon sun, 72 Cleburne, 65 in Dallas, 68 in Fort Worth, where they have seen a little bit more sunshine and a good day to be out and about on the practice field. As we take a look from uh, FC Dallas's field there, Toyota Stadium, I'm seeing some sunshine to break through too. We'll keep it going this afternoon. Temperatures getting into the mid 70s. It's been unusually warm, no secret. We all know how nice but warm this month has been. So, so far, if we take a look at where we've gone so far for November, we are running about six degrees above what is average for this time of the month. We should be around 69. We've been around 75 instead. So we have been seeing that really warm setup. This week we've seen it because of high pressure sticking around, sunshine day after day. That's moving off to the east and that's where we're getting to tap into that Gulf moisture. It's all ahead of our next cold front that's set to arrive on Sunday. So we will be talking about some showers that we, re we really could use. Sunday, another front Tuesday bringing some rain, but none of that expected to impact your Thanksgiving forecast, which is 71 right now and dry. Quick look ahead to next week. Any travel plans? We look across the country. Wet weather across the eastern seaboard on Wednesday. Sunshine for us on Thursday for Thanksgiving. Maybe a little disturbance to provide some low rain chances by Friday. So maybe the tail end of any travel plans could see wet weather here. We'll keep watching that for you. But until then, some sunshine for the next few days. Karen? All right, Annalise, thank you. Well, the